the the actual physically going into Ukraine is, uh, you know, I don't see really what they can gain from that other than a big problem on their hands, uh, because they're they're getting more out of it from uh, bringing attention to it and you know rattling the cages. It remains up to Russia to decide how to respond. We're ready either way. Whether it's planting stories that they're ready to have a you know false flag uh, operation to overthrow the Ukrainian government, um, or you know that they uh, that they uh, you know there's there's chatter, intelligence chatter. All of these are methods and ways that Russia and other countries use in order to basically keep everyone guessing, but get, keep the attention on this issue and problem to basically ratchet it up so high that there will be, that it will bring the Americans to the table and willing to deal on something, on, on the serious matters that the Russians feel they have been raising again and again for many of these last 30 years. I, I, I would imagine that this can go on for quite some a while, you know, where there will be just, and, and there more tension, more there, but at some point it may be, well, who's gonna blink? I, you know, I doubt, you know, the Russians will blink because I think they feel at the end of the day, you know, the Ukrainians and, you know, the, and, and the United States and, you know, and the other Western countries, they, they, they don't want a war and Russia doesn't want a war, but it's not that important to the United States and, and, uh, and, and, and other European countries, except, you know, Poland and the Baltic which border Russia, you know, to, to have the consequences of, you know, of conflict. And I think, you know, the Russians like to, you know, they play a very tough negotiating game of really ratcheting up when they feel that they have the upper hand and what's in it for them to back down 